Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Aquarius. So I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with every Aquarius and it will not resonate with every Aquarius cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone rising or Venus placements in Aquarius or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links to both in the description box. All right, so we're going to do this a little differently today. All right, we're going to do this a little different. We're going to see what your energy is versus the person that you're dealing with or the person that you're thinking about when you're watching this reading, what their energy is versus your energy, okay? So, let's see. Let's see what the feminine energy is right now. The feminine energy. Where is the feminine at when it comes to this? One card. Tired. You guys are tired. All right. And we have my love was pure and I am not ashamed of it. So you guys kind of feel like you gave a lot to this person. Um, you guys, I'm getting this energy of feeling taken for granted or like you guys kind of like maybe we're struggling with feeling a little foolish um, for giving so much to this person, for loving this person so hard. And maybe they didn't re reciprocate that to you. But you're definitely exhausted with the situation with this person. Um, but you guys are getting to this place to the place where you're like, you know what? I had good intentions. I loved, I really love this person. I'm not going to be ashamed of really, you know, of loving someone. Okay. If they don't appreciate it, that's on them, but I'm not going to feel stupid for, you know, loving someone. All right. Where is the masculine? I don't want to share you with anyone. So this, the masculine is in this energy of not wanting anyone to, anyone else to have you. I am mad. I did not want to fall for you. You are not supposed to be my girl, but I can't stop thinking of you. So this person wasn't expecting to fall as hard for you as they did. I'm also getting this energy of maybe this person feels like you're maybe off limits or something like that. I don't know why, because of that it says you weren't supposed to be my girl or guy. Just, you know, don't um, put gender or, you know, we all have masculine and feminine energy. So take it how it resonates, Whatever, whichever side you feel like you're on. So... What is the current situation here? All right, let's do this. Tell me more about the feminine energy. Tell me more about the feminine energy, where they're at when it, in regards to this situation. So we have the star. Tell me more. We have the queen of swords. Yeah, you guys are healing and you're starting to be more firm in your boundaries. Like, I feel like you guys are have set clear boundaries. You're being very direct with your communication. Um, being very illogical and objective when it comes to the situation now. I do feel like you guys are frustrated or you feel like things are delayed or something. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands in reverse. Um, you guys don't feel like things are over between you and this person, but I feel like you guys are just tired of them. So you guys feel like you need to like have better boundaries. I'm also getting this energy of like an ultimatum. Like I don't feel like you guys have completely released this person. Like you guys still have like a little figment of hope when it comes to this but you guys are just getting very tired and weighed down when it comes to this and I feel like you don't feel like things are over between you and this person but I do feel like you're getting more firm and like demanding what it is that you need and get, that you what you need from this person and from the situation like having better boundaries you're not and I feel like you're starting to become less dependent on this person like I think you guys are like become be more realistic with your expectations when it comes to them. All right. So tell me what about this masculine energy, the ace of cups in reverse. So they're trying to like suppress their emotions for you. Four of cups. They're doing a lot of thinking, but this person is very like in this like nonchalant, like unemotional type energy. Also, this person could just maybe be feeling like they lost you. Yeah, they feel like they know that you love them a lot and now they feel like that love is lost. They feel like they possibly missed an opportunity, but they're also in this energy of being very like aloof. All right, yeah, 10 of Pentacles in reverse. They're being very like in a very non-committal energy and they could also have suffered some type of financial loss. All right, um, 
for some of you guys could be fighting over money with this person or they're having some type of conflict over money um yeah this is a person that has an issue with commitment but they don't want anybody else to have you but they're trying to release that fear of commitment because and this person's not doing well they haven't been sleeping they've been really up in their head about the situation but they're trying to like their fears are blocking their heart from opening to you okay and it's like or from them opening their heart to you i feel like it's there but it's like they have a lot of fears of commitment they're a non-committal person but i feel like this person feels like they need to release their fears because they feel like they're gonna have to end up lose they don't want anybody you they don't want you dealing with anyone else um it's kind of forcing this person to start like opening their heart to some degree we have justice here death see this person just knows that they're going to have to make a lot of big changes uh, they they feel like they feel like they feel like if they don't get it together they're going to miss an opportunity or that they don't want you dealing with anyone else so they need to get it together person's very empty they feel very empty at this time this person maybe feels like they don't have what it takes or they don't have um the ability to offer you commitment at this time because they do feel so empty so they're, they're maybe going through financial issues they're going through a lot of mental turmoil all right give me one card for the feminine energy give me one card for the feminine energy if you're a feminine watching what's the feminine energy okay that's way more than one card <laughs> Um, so there's maybe some type of third party in the mix here, guys. The feelings are mutual. They do want to have, maybe you guys are aware that this person, oh, with the 10 of Pentacles in reverse, this could, you guys could be dealing with somebody that's going through a divorce. You guys maybe thought that this person didn't, the third party could just, this person could maybe feel, feel like there's competition for you. Yeah. Maybe you guys do have new people you're talking to because you guys felt like this person didn't feel the same way about you. You felt like you had a lot of love for them, but that they didn't have the same love for you. So I feel like maybe you guys are trying to like close out this cycle, but like the feelings actually are mutual between you and this person they just there's healing that yes healing yeah there's healing that needs to be done here so this person's not mentally okay until this person heals and gets out of this mental prison that they're in this relationship is going to be unsustainable okay um tell me about this person what is their energy when it comes to this connection yeah look at this they plan to make it up with you that's the justice card that showed itself they, they want to make this right, okay? Wow, because they're going to realize that this is true love. Wow. They're going to try to make you their number one priority here. It's like they're not taking action just yet. They're trying to remain hopeful. But I do see that they do feel like they do have true love for you. They've been trying to like push it away or suppress it. But yeah, they do have true love for you. They're going to choose to focus on just you. If they did have a third party, they're not. they're no longer focusing on that third party anymore. They are going to place all their focus on you. And um, I see them doing something, actually doing a lot to try to win you back over here. All right, Nick, cooperate with me. Give me a card on what this person's intentions are when it comes to my Aquarius Collective. Intentions. See, Queen of Cups in reverse. Queen of King of Swords in reverse. And Seven of Wands in reverse. Two of Wands. This person hasn't made up their mind about what they want to do yet. Right now, this person, I feel like this person's hoping that you let your guard down. Yeah, because you guys are in this energy of being like very firm in your boundaries right now. And I feel like this person's hoping that you kind of surrender. Others of you, I feel like this person is just feeling very like right now that they maybe need to 
give up on this or they're feeling exhausted about something but i or maybe this person's trying to manipulate here i know like this person's going to try to manipulate you into letting your guard down because i and i still see that this person hasn't made up their mind they're conflicted yeah they're conflicted but with the, the wheel of fortune here that might change yeah so i see them it's like a stalemate situation right now them not making the decision to come in and make things right with you they're kind of just waiting for you to like it's unfortunate guys because i feel like this person's so used to you giving so much to them like you being the one to carry the relationship for you to be the one to make amends for you to be the one that's like yeah like you being very needy always needing them like maybe chasing them or something like that having insecurities but they don't know that your energy has changed here this person is thinking that they still have some type of power over you or I feel like this person feels like if they just stay withdrawn for, you know, if they just continue to stay withdrawn from you, that you will come in and you will let your guard down, surrender. Like, I feel like this person is hoping that you. Surrender to them like they, they're they're using some type of form of manipulation here to get you to let your guard down and to, for you to come in and try to be the one to make amends here. While this person, but I feel like this person's going to be forced into making a decision because this person can't make up their mind about whether or not they want to take action and make some changes here. But I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, there's going to be like change forced upon when it comes to this person. And I see them trying to reconcile with you. Yeah. It's like they're going to admit defeat. It's like they're wanting you to surrender, but it's going to come to the point where they're going to have to surrender because you're not going to do it anymore. All right. It's like this person's waiting for you to reach out to them. They're waiting for you to come in and fix things when you're. it's not something that you need to fix. Okay. So let's see what's going to happen going forward here. What's going to happen going forward here? We have outside influences. Heavily influenced by the people around them, opinions or gossip. So there is some type of, they're, they're listening to what other people have to say about your connection or what they should do. Or like, if this person does think that you're dating other people, they're hearing this or they're maybe seeing, getting hints or something like that. That's maybe influencing things right now. We have, yeah, it's like they're, they're coming towards you very slowly. Um, and I see them wanting to take things slowly with you because this person I told you has a lot of fears. I see them coming towards you within the next six months. All right. But it's been taking this person a long time to change. But you definitely have triggered some type of significant change in this person. I did see the death card. You have really inspired this person to get their shit together. All right. But it's taking this person some time. They're going to get out of that coldness. They're going to get out of that aloofness. Okay. Like not being in their heart space, not listening to their heart. They are going to listen to their heart and they're, they are going to take action and get out of their head. All right. But yeah, because they feel like you guys have a soul connection. All right, they're going to open their heart. Yeah, they are going to open their heart to you. See, commitment issues. Yeah, they are being non-committal, but I definitely see that this person is very jealous or possessive over you. And that's going to force this person to take some type of action towards you. Or to, it's going to force them to have to work on themselves and change if they want to come back and be with you. Because I see that you guys are not going to let this person come back and continue the same BS that they've been continuing. All right. This person knows that if they're going to come back towards you, maybe that's also why they're moving towards you slowly is because they know if they're going to come back towards you, they need to come back changed. And this person has been very resistant to that. It's like they're slowly making changes. But I feel like what's maybe lighting the fire under their butt and making them move a little bit quicker is the thought of you being with somebody else. All right. So we have sexuality. Embrace your sexual nature. Experience divine bliss and link with your wild glow power that hot cosmic okay <laughs> embrace your sexual nature and experience divine bliss and link your wild glow power to that hot cosmic energy hmm, i don't know guys what that has to do with this situation we have soulmate here in spring so yeah divine portal we have heart calling reveal your heart's calling you have everything you need and now is the time to follow your heart's desire so maybe there is like a really strong sexual connection between you and this person, but it's not just that. There is like, you know, there is love here too with the heart calling card. We have soulmate. It says true love is finding its way to you, a new spiritual romance. And we have spring. So this new spiritual romance or whatever this, whatever this is, it's either this person coming back or you guys have somebody new coming in. It's going to uh, manifest in the springtime. It says what you're asking for will become yours in the spring. Rebirth, spiritual rejuvenation, love and growth awaits. Okay. 
So this is what I have for you guys. Hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this reading. Um, and don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links to both in the description box. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.